All right, tell me about the new Avalon. What makes this special? How is this better than the previous model? You know, this car is truly um, a game changer for us. Uh, first of all, this car was designed, engineered, it'll be manufactured, sold, and serviced in the United States. If you look at Avalon's history, where we've always shined with this car, what people always appreciate it is a quality, dependability, reliability, and safety of Avalon. That's what it's been known for. But now we've infused terrific driving dynamics and a really expressive styling with a much nicer interior. Now when you say designed, serviced, and built, this is a completely American car. It is a completely American car, yes. With, when it goes into manufacture and it's just started, is 90% domestic content. Wow. So, um, will this car be sold in other forms in Europe and Asia, or um, is this Avalon something you will not be able to get in the rest of the world? So its primary market is for North America. It was designed specifically for American tastes, but we are exporting to the Middle East and to South Korea. Okay. And tell me about how it differs in terms of the demographic that you're going for. I remember we were talking before and you said that the average buyer of the previous generation was 68. That is correct. So are you going for a younger customer? Yes, we are. So one of the good things about Avalon is the reason why our uh, median age is older than the segment average is because what we see is Avalon customers stay with Avalon. And so as they age, they kept replacing their Avalons. Where we see an opportunity is targeting some younger buyers. And so we'll be targeting a 40 to 60 year old buyer, but it has to start with the product. And what we know from those buyers, um, from listening to them is they want more expressive styling. They want more um, technology in the car. And so we've included things like our in-tuner navigation systems um, throughout the platform. Um, and they want more leveled up interiors. And so these soft touch and stitched areas are things that they've really come to appreciate. We've added that in the car as well, as well as um, improved driving dynamics. Now, I was just driving it with Nathan and he said the old Avalon was kind of like sitting in a bowl of jelly. <laughs> but this one seems much tauter. Have you changed the suspension setup? Is it a little bit more sporty? Yes, it is. Uh, and we also added the ability to select um, your suspension, uh, excuse me, your, your performance characteristic based upon uh, either normal grade or sport or, uh, or an eco grade. So you can actually change the, the driving dynamics. Yeah, I noticed that. So like if you hit the sport button, it firms up the steering. It does. Um, and then you also added something that's pretty shocking in this segment, paddle shifters. <laughs> Why yes. paddle shifters? And you know, it's one of those little things that we heard back from customers, um, that they really felt more engaged with the car by being able to manually shift. And so it's one of those features that um, the customer spoke very loudly and we've added it. Let's just talk kind of the hard numbers. When will it be available? So it'll be on sale mm -hmm. uh, December 1st. Okay. And that's for the uh, gas version. The hybrid follows out a little bit later. It'll be on sale uh, on uh, December 7th. And um, the uh, we expect to sell about 70000 in our first full year. And talk to me about the... Um Different trim levels and how much they're going to cost if people are interested. Yeah, so we've made this. We've made the the, uh, the trim levels really simple. There's basically seven um, builds: four on the on the gas side and three on the hybrid side. And on the gas side, it starts at thirty thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars, which I think is cheaper than the last model. It's twenty two hundred and five dollars wow. cheaper than last model. Now we did some things. Um, the base model on this great on this uh, new platform. Uh, does not include a moonroof, okay. whereas the last generation moonroof was standard. So and you're losing some content. You are losing some content, but you're getting a much better price point than you are taking content out. So the value position has actually gotten better for consumers. And the reason why we did that is we listened to, again, a group of consumers who said, I really don't want a, a moonroof and don't need it and don't want to pay for it. And so we see that as an opportunity to lower the MSRP and appeal to a broader audience. And at the other end, we had another extreme of consumers who said, boy, I really like the Avalon, but I'd like to have some more premium features. And so that we have a limited grade that has a whole bunch of standard equipment that really puts it at the, the top end of the, the premium segment in terms of appointment and, uh, 
and luxury. And how much is the limited model? And the limited model is just under $40,000. All right, now I have to ask, there were a lot of amenities built into this car, so you've got heated and ventilated seats, you've got uh, blind spot monitoring, but no heated steering wheel. We do not. <laughs> Why no heated I love that feature. <laughs> Us cold northern types. <laughs> uh, but to that point, another thing that we uh, that's different from this generation, from the last generation, in terms of adding more value for yep. consumers, we standardize heated seats. It was an option in the last generation. Um, but for consumers that live in cold weather markets, we've standardized the heated seats. And you have them in the back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have them available in the back. In the back, yeah. Uh, and we also have standard uh, uh, heated outdoor mirrors as well. And you've got a ski pass-through. And we have ski pass-through. <laughs> I just had to point that out because I noticed that. <laughs> so last question, what is your favorite feature of the new Avalon? My favorite feature? The automatic touch. The automatic touch, yeah, thank you. Yeah. The IntelliTouch switches are my favorite. Yeah. I like the animation in terms of how things come up and, and, uh, and down. Um, it's really easy to follow what's happening with the switches back and forth. Um, I just think that's a really, really cool, cool feature on the car. And obviously, you've talked to customers about this car. What's their favorite feature? The customers um, that we've, we've got feedback from, yeah. um, it's hard to say what their favorite is. I would say that in general, they have been in awe with the car. Um, they are really attracted to the exterior of the car. They really like the styling and then they sit down, they just fall in love. To them, it's like a mobile living room. Um, and all the fine interior appointments, like uh, the stitching, um, the refined dash, the IntelliTouch controls, both types of things really, um, really got them uh, interested. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.